What is up, guys? How are y'all doing? I am Rest Sestrix. I've been gone for way too damn long. E3 is happening. I kind of forgot to stream. I forgot to post more YouTube videos. I've done all this shit. But right now, since I saw Dragon Ball Z Fighters, oh my god, that looks so godlike. I feel like given a nice little top fighting games that are currently out and some upcoming fighting games I want to see all in this one video, it's a lot. To compact and do one damn video i'm gonna try to keep it under 15 minutes but i can't promise things because me being a dick and talking out of my ass is what i do freely so here we go let's go boys oh my boy oh my goodness have y'all i watched microsoft's e3 it's whatever i don't really care about microsoft at all but when i saw the dragon ball z i'm a big fan of marvel's capcom 3 now I can't play, I'm a really bad at fighters in general, so I'm a scrub, I'm a casual, filthy casual at its finest. I cannot play a good fighting game, but I can tell when a good fighting game is good or bad, just by touching and see how it is. And right now we have, it's more than 10, I have. I usually do like a top 10, that's it. I got a, quite a few in here and I lumped some together and just, these are the current fighting games that are actually hype still and can't say they're hype, but people watch it people are sheeps there's a lot of things that happen there's some really good ones that are not being seen and there's some ones that are pretty ass but that's a whole different conversation let's first hit that upcoming game yo here this is coming soon man we got marvel versus capcom infinite it looks kind of cool but it, i don't really like the design right now i kind of wish it had the other capcom three look but that's complaining i hadn't played the game haven't touched the game Y'all know they're able to play the E3, so watch Maximilian or something. They'll have a full hands on it, but I am hyped for that shit. Pokin Tournament XD, aka X Smiley Face, uh, Sad Face. I'm hyped for this game. This is just me and my personal beliefs. I think Pokin was a really fun game the first time, but spoiler, it's not going to be on the list because, well, the game died really fast. Not a lot of people played the game. It's Wii U, so I actually bought the game and played it and wanted to buy the little Hori controller shit. Which is BS. Whatever it is, it is. I was hyped. I liked the game. Yes, I raged. And I did trade it in once I got my Wii U and all that jazz. It was still a fun game. Uh, Arms, another fighter that's coming out, which is motion-based. If you want to do that, probably don't have to. You can use a controller and shit. Um, the beta, uh, the complaints here are saying it's, it's smooth. You can do it either way. But your controller will get you what you want to do. But it doesn't seem as smooth. And your... Uh, physical what you got motion controls there's things you want to do it just it cannot pick them up that's like an iffy on the games but i'm still hyped for it uh final fantasy nx or nt i should say it looks kind of cool looks badass but this is an arena fighter with some anime fan fantasy thing trying to cash a coin but it looks really neat and has really crazy combos i'm not sure it's gonna be an evo type game but it's up there uh absolver looks fucking amazing and sick for honor kind of game right here but it's i think it looks a lot smoother minus the swords and shit awesome that game should be a uh, evo game but i'm not sure it's going to be because it's not a fighter it kind of is and of course you got dragon ball z fighters with that z dragon ball fighters with a z my bad i don't want to say it wrong get fucking raged on looks sick marvel's capcom better watch the fuck out it's probably dead but it's still what it is this game looks sick. I saw some gameplay. I really am hyped for it. I'm hoping there's at least 20 guys and it's all Dragon Ball Z. I want my Krillin. Yes, I want Krillin and Piccolo. I don't care. I just want to see them in there. All right, so that's your upcoming ones that we got to hear. Uh, I'm hyped for all of it. I would love to see everything, but I'm not going to promise anything to be there because I can't say it's going to be good or not. I just want to say there's some games I'm looking forward to. Like, Pokemon's coming out. Arms is coming out. Like, next week or like end of this week so it's probably done really badly but i will update the list probably after pokin comes out and my bias comes out and kicks a couple of these off these goddamn lists but let's start from the shit and work our way up to the top and i said shit for a reason because this is a shitty ass game but the games i still watch it on twitch even though i would like to click it off but it's always the last freaking fighting game that's on and i'm like you know what i gotta watch a fighting game i guess i'll watch this shit but when I see tech anything, I'm switching right now. But this is what it is. 
Number 10 is Street Fighter 5. Oh my god, this is just a pile of garbage. Um, for a game that's supposed to be so goddamn hype, and they did so much to release it and all that jazz, came out with no story mode and quite disappointing and a very slow paced game. Like Akuma's trying, Ikabuki's trying, Armiku, who was the hypest thing in the game, has been nerfed. Even though she's still good, she's just not as strong as she was. Street Fighter 5 is just, you're missioning for your casuals. But the online again, I guess, is good. You get some of these uh since you can't really style on anybody and you can't really do anything that's good, you people start to teabag now in these games. Which is kinda sad. You can't style so you gotta teabag, and it's kind of annoying. Cause it's very bland and you're watching the same shit over and over again, the same connects. There's no really no manual combos, it's the same combos over and over again. It's to me I don't like this game, it's ass, but it's still relevant enough. And it's so popular on Twitch, you have to have it on a list of games that are still popular right now and still getting views and all that shit. Even though I think it's crap, it is what it is. Number nine, King of, F King of Fighters, I think it's 14, I believe. Yes, yeah, what it is. Um, I don't hate this game. I don't. I have it so down, so damn far down on the list. It says you don't get to see it as much. It's a really heavy uh, Korean, I believe, I believe it's Korean and Mexico, Mexican kind of game. Mexico, Mexicans, uh, Hispanic, I should say type of game and Koreans the game is awesome game is hype as hell it's just you don't see enough of it and it's not streamed enough for me to actually put it higher on the list but I think it's way better than Street Fighter 5 I think every game I have in the street better than Street Fighter 5 to be honest so yeah it's a good game I love the 3v3 kind of thing you beat one you lose so on it's kind of it's cool as hell I don't hate this game it's only break down so low because you don't see enough of it and once we see more Probably like Evo, it's probably the hypest thing again because, like, a couple years ago, sorry, a couple years ago, King of, uh, King of Fighters was the hypest thing in Evo. I'm like, what the hell? So, it is what that one is. I was hoping, I would probably move it up higher on the list, but there's some games that are better. Even though I don't think they're all better, you just don't see enough of it. If I saw more of this game and it was really pushed harder, I think I'd be okay, but a lot of streams are not going to push it because that's not where all the views are. These people are fucking sheeps. Number eight, Killer Instinct. All right, this is going to be a very, very, uh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to get some hate off this one. Killer Instinct is better than Street Fighter V, but barely. It's killer, mash a combo, mash every button, roll your face on a keyboard. And that's every single fighter instinct. Um... I don't like my game being simple. Let's be honest, I can possibly. Now, I take that back. I'm okay with a simple type of game with some complicated stuff at the end. Street Fighter is simple as fuck, and there's no really complicated shit to it because all you gotta worry about is, oh, you can jab, or you have so much frame bullshit. Frame lag. No. This game doesn't have that frame lag. It has the best internet you're gonna have, or net code, I should say. And you're guessing this combo breakers, and if you know every single uh, fighter, this is probably a hot, lot higher than the list to me. For me, I played it about three or four times. I played Tusk, uh, Jago, and Rash. And every single one was they were fun. I did not hate this game. This game was fun. But it's fun if you're retarded. Because um, it's really, you can all you do is just do fucking. Now, Rash is a little different. Rash is cool, had a lot of movement, get in there, maybe a little harder. But Tusk and Jago was just put your head on there and just roll. And if you don't know how to combo break, whatever, it's still, if you know the game, you know every fighter, you're probably a better time at it. But I feel like this game is retarded. Um, you pretty much are just throwing every single button at once. You just, it's retarded. Like, a fucking Down Syndrome kid can play that. No, 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 no. Take that back. I don't need to be a fucking flamed on YouTube. A kid with issues can play this game with ease. Same with Street Fighter V, which a fucking blind guy plays Street Fighter V with someone's ass should piss everyone off because it shouldn't be that easy um but that's a killer instinct it's it's hype sometimes but you have tons of health the combos get blah blah there's really nothing you're not really losing anything it doesn't seem fun now i was watching the reads not reads uh is it the salt the router kicker whatever it is the recipe that's what it is the recipe with tasty steve and Sage. Sage Jam's the best one I've ever seen on it, because goddamn, those matches were quick. I can't be mad at that. 
But what I see on stream every damn time is these long ass matches doing 100, 100 hits, but no one's losing any health because everyone combo breakers out. It's quite annoying to watch, but it is what it is. Number seven coming up because I think I just going to pretty much be banned for life. Now, I don't like throwing these types of games in fighting games, but since everyone wants to call them a fighting game, I'm going to do it for now. Even though I don't think these games are fighting games. I think these games are party games with competitive shit, but we're going to call them fighting games now or for now just because I want to prove a point how bad Street Fighter is, and I'm going to keep these on there. And I'm making it a straight up point. But they're very hype. These are all hype. Brawl Out, Brawlhalla, and Rivals of Aether. Um, they're all Smash clones. We all know that. But every single one of them is actually pretty fun to play. Really fun to watch. Um, the combo games are sick. The survival is badass. Even though all three are the same fucking game almost. One of them is going to fall off and break and lose and gone bye bye and just die off. The one that dies off. But two, they're probably going to die off. Okay, cool. Now I'll leave one of those left. But right now, we're going to leave it at this spot. And all these are the same damn game together. I don't hate them. I think they're all fun. All good to watch. Uh, they're better than the games I put it other than KOF. KOF is probably a, is a better game. Just not streamed enough. These have some views. And all three of them are getting kind of badass. And when I watch the uh, X, Xbox uh, conference, that brawl out looks fucking amazing. It looks really good. It looks very slick. It looks very, very nice. So, I can't hate on these games. These games are really good. Uh, I don't want to put them up here, but a uh, number six for Honor as a very good fighting game. But this is not a fighting game. Yes, it kind It's a duel game. You're using weapons and you're fighting each other. And you're close up. It's a fighting game. Now, is it arena? No, it's more of an open area fight. No one's going to believe, like, this is no fighter. What the hell are you fucking talking? You're smoking weed. I wish. Uh, this game is actually fucking sick. This game would go up a lot higher if I knew the fuck I was doing. <laughs> that's that's pretty damn sad. I played this game on the bait, and I played it, like, another week after. I'm like, oh, this game is fun, but goddamn, no. This game is way too damn complicated for me. But I enjoyed every single bit. When I watch, I love watching these streams of these guys fighting. I wish... There is a, it would be an Evo because this game right here would be a really sick Evo. Problem is, you're going to have the same guys parry each other, parry each other until someone makes a mistake. Which would be kind of boring. If I want to watch some fencing, I would watch fencing. It's a video game fencing. It feels like it's really sick. And I love the game. But it's not the most visually crowd appeasing game out there. It's really good for 1v1 and getting your rocks off. Because you do feel like you have a bigger dick when you beat someone's ass. Ain't gonna lie, when I got, I was on a killing streak, I went, oh my god, did I just grow a couple inches? Damn! I Man, that's what you feel when you play For Honor. It's a sick-ass game, I like it, awesome, but, will it be that hype? No, because it's not even on EVO, that's why it's so damn low on here. I would put it higher, but, the games that are above it are the views, and they're hyper, and everyone loves to watch them. Now, next one, number five. Now, five is gonna be kind of weird, because... I put these two damn games together, and you're like, what the fuck? How do you know you put Melee and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in the same damn conversation? Well, they're both two old-ass games that need to go and die off. Being legit. And if Dragon Ball Fighters Z and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite are worth a damn, Bye Bye 3, you're gone. Melee needs to go away. It's, sorry, it's a script. It follows the same shit. This Marvel vs. Capcom was the same way until recently... When Ryan LV is the one doing all the work and fucking Chris G is getting bopped and everyone else is getting bopped below him. And it's it's good to see some mix up there. And that's why MD3 is going to probably come up a little bit more. Melee, you, you can feel it. You see it sometimes. But it's still the same damn guys up there and the same guys at the end. Which is quite annoying, quite BS. And it's quite sad to see. Well, Mavericks Capcom, there's a little bit more variety. You're still going to see Doom everywhere. But these are just two old ass games that are going to die off eventually. When these other games come out, Melee, maybe not. Melee might always live, just like PM is living, supposedly. Melee is always going to live because people can't give up a game. Um, And the other reason why I keep Mavericks Capcom 3 on here and Melee, well, not Melee. Melee's commentary sucks balls. All they want to do is say stories and tell each other stories, and uh, it, it's boring as hell. Just like watching Melee, it's fucking boring. Uh, Marvel's Capcom, though, the commentators is what keeps it alive. If you didn't have good commentators in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and just how hype it always is, it would have died off already. But luckily, the commentators saved y'all's asses. Number four, Guilty Gear 
XRD, Rev, whatever, fill it all together. I think this is the right one. I might have totally got it wrong, but Guilty Gear, tell about a fun game to watch. I know it's anime, boys, but this is a really hype-ass game. Um, it makes Marvel vs. Capcom seem ten. No, it don't. Never mind. It's about the same level of Marvel vs. Capcom, as in hype as fuck. Uh, the commentators are fucking hype as hell. They're all weaved, which is kind of a downside, but FGC, who knows? If they're sticking out of their asses, maybe they'll start learning shit. Um, but it's a game that's going to be really hype when you watch it on Evo. It's going to be very enjoyable. The fighters are, like, legit complex. Um, so many fighting styles. Just like the same with, a. Uh, what the hell you got? Killer Instinct has, like, shitload of different styles of fighting fighters in there. Guilty Gear is about the same way, except for it's a little bit more complicated. Like, really complicated. Like, holy shit. There's so much to learn on that game that this... Why are you so hard to play? It's so much fun, but so hard to play. That I watched Tasty Steve play this game. It, like it was fucking easy. Like, how in the hell is this? Okay, whatever. Um, I played this game once, and I was like... This game is amazing, but I fucking suck. <laughs> and I like what I love watching it on stream. It's a game I don't really, I'm not good at, but it's a game I do enjoy, and it's awesome. It's just super, super awesome. Um, three is gonna be uh, Tekken Seven is a fucking game that just came out, and I know, understandable, the story mode is whatever. It's the same as same blob. Everyone's giving it so much shit for being the same game, but what if it's not broken? Why fix Tekken Seven? The game looks amazing. I mean, it really looks good. Like, oh, it looks very old. I play on PC. It looks fucking great. You can always up the graphics all you damn want. I mean, <laughs> just saying. Customize your guy to the fullest. That's awesome. Um, you know, Tekken 7 again, this is how I said, it's a harder game to play. It's arena based. But it's so good. It's like so, so good. It's the hypest thing right now to watch. Street Fighter looks like shit compared to this game. Shall I explain more? Like, this game really has layers, both layers, and everyone's balanced for now until everyone starts learning every single character how to punish. But right now, I'm watching all these streams, and every time I see Tekken 7, I'm watching. It could be Maximilian, it could be Eris, it could be uh, Tasty C, it could be Rip, it could be a fucking Wednesday Night Fights, it could be Team Spooky streams, um, you name it, I'm watching Tekken 7. It's so good good to watch you cannot stop watching this game that's how good it is that's number three number two i'm gonna get so much hate for this even though i traded this game in a harvey when i heard the switch was coming out didn't hate the game game was very enjoyable I hate people who play it it's a weird weird kind of dynamic i have but super smack brothers 4 4 is the is second top game seven top, sec, uh, fighter that is hype as hell, enjoyable to watch if you're into it. If you're not into it, you're probably going to where's Marvel, but blah, 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 blah. It's a kid's game. And I agree. This is not a fighter. <laughs> this is a competitive party game. But at the moment, since it's getting so much hype and it's so much movement in there, you kind of got to fucking buckle and go, you know what? It might as well be a fighter and get it out of the way. Because they're throwing bows at each other. And the variety. The you're right. So you're like, okay. Why is Smash 4 above Melee? Now, this is the other conversation that I'm probably going to get shot on, and I don't care. Because there's variety, and people, you don't know who's going to win or lose. There's nothing better than going, Zero is the best Smash 4 guy, and he got and he drowns in pools? What the fuck? Or you're like, yo, they beat your ass, boom, boom, boom. Guy has rage and bodies your ass. Like, oh, my gosh. You got to love that unpredictability. And this is just watching on stream. You know what, really? You know what? fucking gimpy broken shit there is people do each other off stream oh, I play Bowser he's lame as fuck sometimes but Jesus he has a broken ass shit I've these people I've been druggled up for days you just sit back and going you go boy you juggle me for 20 hits and I'm about 100 fucking uh, damage on me with all that rage and you die at 50 I'm like thank you for all the help I mean there's all that shit happening in Smash that anyone could win it's anyone is a fucking oh my god anyone could be a killer you gotta be prepared at all times yes people play a little lame sometimes yes you got people that do hop shit and all that whole different level just boring shit that happens in smash but most times in these streams that get hype as fuck the combos are amazing 
and the jank shit that happens. It just keeps you on your seat. And get, people will just get hype as hell. People will jump up going, whoa, yeah. This game is amazing. This game is like one of the better fighters out there, if you consider it a fighter. I don't, but for this stream, I will be. Number one is the best fighter to date. Currently, that's playing, that's popular with everyone, is Injustice 2. You're like, what? Really? Injustice? Why? One, gears. You can customize your guy. Two, the story is awesome. Three, multiverse. Casual fucks, here you go. AI card battles. Links up with your mobile. Casual fucks, here you go. Guilds, fucking casuals, here you go. A good net code. What? Pretty damn balanced. Oh, not really. Not yet. <laughs> it's not balanced yet. Deadshot needs to be nerfed. Or not nerfed. They're going to fix around some of the pro projection uh, zoning guys. Um, even though he's easily worked around, and you see Harley Quinn's and Harley Quinn up there, dude. That's my girl. Harley Quinn is hype as hell to watch. That combo is amazing. But you have your Harley Quinn's, your Superman, your Batman's, your Dark Sides, fucking Deadshot. Like everyone's able to play now and you can get up there. It's quite awesome. And your casual fuckers get a full game. So they don't like smashing all them up there. Your casual fuckers get a good game. And I am casual as hell. No lie about it. So, hope you enjoyed the list of games where I think it's from honorable mentions. You saw the honorable mentions, not honorable mentions, upcoming games that I'm hyped to see. And that's six badass games. I'm going to go through them, rewind the video yourself, and rewatch it. It's up to you. And you just saw this the list from the shittiest game out there that's still popular for some reason because the sheeps are retarded to the best fighting game to date currently out that's actually you know, emo and all that shit that can happen. It's Injustice 2. Thank y'all for watching. I am Red Slasher X. God damn, I fucking feel great about fighting games, boys. It's coming back. Hope you enjoy this. Give your boy a follow on Twitch. Uh, give your boy a subscribe and a like and share the video. I don't care if you put on RCAP or what. Do what you gotta do, guys. Hope y'all later. See y'all later. Bye. Deuces, motherfuckers. All right, that last part, I didn't mean to call y'all fuckers. I really don't. I love all y'all. Y'all are awesome. But later.